Tiffany Heard has reached her lowest point and has revealed that she is broke beyond belief. Not only that, but she is pleading with us common people for money to support her extravagant lifestyle. It appears that she has moved from giving money freely to openly begging on GoFundMe. After all, this is a woman who spent $199,000 on welcome banners, and now she can't even pay the bills. How messy is this? She used to live like a queen on taxpayer funds. Talking about lavish travel, a multi-million dollar security detail is pursuing her, but that's not all it turns out, that she also allegedly borrowed millions of dollars and pledged city infrastructure as collateral. All right, this is a hot mess that we're just getting started on, and before we dive into Tiffany's debts, the creditors are sowing Tiffany to get their money back. And things aren't looking good from his henyard or the good people of Dalton. Talk about how Tiffany turned public funds into her personal piggy bank. What if I told you that she spent more on welcome banners than some people in Dalton make in a year? This is insane we're talking about a woman who behaved as though she had a blank check from the city and was not afraid to use it. Let's break it down Tiffany spent $119,000 on banners with her face all over them and $99,000 on a welcome banner, while the average Dalton household barely makes ends meet. The town of Dalton was going deeper and deeper into debt, while Tiffany was living it up. We're talking about a place where the fire department hasn't had a contract for a whole five years the people risking their lives to save others can't even get a proper contract but miss thing is over here spending thousands of welcome signs and let's not even talk about how out of touch she is thirty thousand dollars a year talk about being out of touch not only was tiffany allegedly living it up in new york city but she also had a full security detail following her around costing the village hundreds of thousands of dollars annually some of these officers were making over $133,000 in a single pay period due to overtime, which is more than some people indulge in making in three or four years. It's as though she forgot she was running a town and thought she was in charge. Forget about Tiffany's small trips to Vegas while Dalton residents were struggling to make ends meet. Some kind of celebrity, but here's the thing celebrities use their own money. Tiffany, on the other hand, used taxpayer funds as a result, the town is now unable to pay for his bills. The company that created the majority of those elegant welcome banners is still waiting for their money, and they're not the only ones. Tiffany also took out personal loans totaling millions of dollars, which she is now unable to repay. It's as though she believed the money would never run out. The town's inability to pay for the police department's vehicles puts them at risk of being repossessed. Can you imagine calling 911 and learning that there is no car to come help you? but they have done roll their buggies or horses and carriages or got an Uber down in your house. That's the reality Dalton is facing all because Tiffany couldn't keep her spinning in circles? Tiffany appears to be in serious trouble. Check this out supposedly, Tiffany Henner wasn't just squandering taxpayer funds like it was nothing rather, she was involved in some crazy scams as well. We're talking about Section 8 housing, which is meant to assist low-income individuals in finding decent housing. If you thought Tiffany's spending was outrageous, wait until you hear about her side business. This woman managed to convert moldy walls into cold hard cash. How long can a mayor go? Signs and made the decision to profit. But here's the thing, Tiffany owned the property, right? She was receiving government section 8 subsidies. But here's the kicker the place was a complete mess we're talking about serious mold, water damage, the whole nine yards but did Tiffany care? It's said that she didn't she just continued to collect the checks as if everything was great. By November 2019, the property had gotten so bad that it had been declared uninhabitable, and you would think that would be the end of it. Because she is black and belongs to a special protected class, she has already embezzled what appears to be millions of dollars. What's going on? Is Tiffany doing the most or are they setting her up? Let me know what you think in the comments section below and then watch the next video fallout from her reign has been all over the internet, with fans believing comments that she seems conceited and into the opulent lifestyle. Her ego is incredibly inflated, and someone needs to pop it for her. She does this because she can and will continue to do so anyone who believes the federal government will act in this way is insane. She checks so many diversity boxes that there's no way she'll be stopped. Oh, and she's a Democrat as well, so that's another. Despite all of the trouble she's caused, she has managed to raise about $155,000 for her GoFundMe page. It seems that some people are still drawn to her act you must be wealthy because she doesn't need to put on a talent show in order to get the money back. However, let's face it, $15,000 will not even come close to covering Tiffany's debt of millions of dollars. It's like trying to put out a wildfire with a water pistol. Meanwhile, the residents of Dalton are left to deal with the treating Dalton like her personal piggy bank. 
Now that everything has fallen apart, she believes she can just ask for a second chance, but that isn't how this works. People are beginning to wonder if Tiffany is using the GoFundMe page to try and repay all of her debts because, as you may recall, creditors are pursuing her relentlessly, or if this is just her attempt to raise money for her next disappearing act. Let's face it, Tiffany has a knack for vanishing when things get tough. But the most bizarre aspect of this is, let's not forget that Dolan is still drowning and that Dalton needs to go fund me because the fire department hasn't had a contract in years, the police department's cars are about to be repossessed, and the town's credit has taken a hit. Tiffany continues to tell us how much money you need from them, as if she lives in a bubble where her actions have no consequences because she spent years in it. People are beginning to wonder whether there is more to Tiffany's story than meets the eye. Some claim that her attempt to play the victim and hope that people will forget about her shady past is why she is attempting to raise money on a crowdfunding site. However, Dalton residents have long memories and aren't going to let Tiffany get away with it. You might be wondering if this gold fund thing is real. Is Tiffany really that broke or is this just another one of our schemes because, let's be real, this woman has a track record of pulling fast ones talk about a hustler. Some people are saying this is just Tiffany's way of trying to scam individuals. She seems to have forgotten about all the mess she left behind and thought people were just lying to give her more money. Apparently cooperating and who knows what else might emerge from Tiffany's closet dressed in her designer clothes. You know, just when you thought Tiffany could not get any worse, she went and made the most desperate move yet, which has everyone's jaws dropping. She created a GoFundMe page for herself, which is why you should brace yourself because your girl is shaking the table. That's right, the same person who was throwing around taxpayer money like it was confetti is now pleading for money. Remember all that money Tiffany was slinging around? It turns out that a lot of it wasn't even hers to begin with she was borrowing it. People are filing lawsuits left and right in an attempt to get their money back, it's as though Tiffany believed she was operating a Ponzi scheme rather than a town. This is where things get really crazy Tiffany didn't just borrow money from people instead, she went and used city infrastructure as. When you're the mayor Tiffany, you can't just admit mistakes and hope that everyone will accept them. However, Freeman isn't the only person in Tiffany's crosshairs she's facing lawsuits that are piling up quicker than dirty laundry, and each one is exposing more teeth at a Boston Harbor party. It's as though she was controlling Dalton like her own personal monarchy, and anyone who didn't submit to her authority received the X. A former HR manager claims she was fired for refusing to conceal public records. The people of Dalton are left scratching their heads, wondering how they ended up with a mayor who's more interested in dodging taxes, while Tiffany is busy playing Where's Waldo with her constituents. Tiffany forgot she was elected to serve the people, not herself. She's turned into what people are calling a ghost mayor, being present in name but nowhere to be found when it counts. Let me tell you something running a town is not like ghosting a bad day. Working for so long will get you fired faster than you can say unemployment, but Tiffany isn't just lounging around the house binge watching Netflix rumors have it that she's selling off personal belongings like firewood because she's broke. It appears that Miss High Roll's lifestyle is catching up with her, and now she's scrounging together change to keep the lights on, but back in Dalton, the town is collapsing quicker than a house of cards during a hurricane. Everything passes. However, when it comes to spreading the bug, Tiffany seems to be taking the strategy a step too far. Rather than confronting the music, she simply vanished, and the situation in Dalton, without its, is a complete mess. This woman, who was supposed to be leading Dalton, has been missing from board meetings and public appearances lately we're talking about 25 meetings, can you imagine your boss not showing up? Tiffany is trying to save her own skin by blaming her former chief of staff, Keith Freeman, and saying she has relied on him for financial decisions. It seems like she is trying to say it wasn't me, it was him, but when you're the mayor, you can't just pass the blame and hope. That is how serious this investigation is. They're probably watching Tiffany's every move in hopes that she will make a mistake and reveal even more, but this is getting deeper. It seems like everyone is lining up to share what they know, and honey, you know they know a whole bunch. The FBI isn't playing around either they're using electronic surveillance as part of their investigation into Tiffany's alleged misconduct. However, it wasn't just regular people who spoke up. Local business owners and former employees are spilling the beans to the FBI and confirming that they've been interviewed about Tiffany's alleged misconduct. Messing around, she's exposing financial mismanagement under the Howard administration. It seems like every time a drawer is opened, more skeletons emerge. Now that Halloween is approaching, let's bring out all the costumes. 
You may be wondering how Tiffany is handling all of this attention, but I can assure you that her public image is suffering because the residents of Dalton are unhappy and demanding answers. It feels like the entire town has turned against her. It seems that they believed being mayor meant having unlimited resources to live like a queen, but the investigation is revealing that she allegedly used taxpayer money for all sorts of other personal benefits. We're talking about lavish trips in the security detail that will make any celebrity jealous. But here's where it gets really interesting you know who they brought in to oversee this whole investigation? Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. That's right, they've called in the big guns and Lori isn't the one. Let's get into the nitty gritty now. The FBI isn't just looking at Tiffany's bank statements instead, they're digging deep. They've issued subpoenas for her personal transactions and the township's financial activities. That's right, they're covering every financial detail. It seems like they're on a mission to find out every penny Tiffany has ever touched. What they're finding is that juicy. Though she assumed she could just brush it under the rug and nobody would notice, it didn't take long for the FBI to become involved. They are now probing deeply into her finances and discovering that it won't be long before Tiffany Hinyard's house of cards falls apart due to the chaos. The FBI is not messing around they have initiated a full-fledged criminal investigation into her financial dealings. It's quite the fall from grace for Tiffany to go from living large to being watched closely by the feds. Government money like that usually doesn't end well. We're talking potential legal repercussions, investigations, and all of that. With everything else Tiffany has going on, this Section 8 scandal may be the final straw that brings her down. But here's the real kicker throughout all of this. Tiffany continued to act as though nothing was wrong. She continued to play the mayor role and make decisions for Dalton. It's as though she was unaware of the Section 8 scandal that was developing in the background. This isn't just about one moldy apartment, why all it's part of a bigger picture of Tiffany's whole deal as mayor. We're talking financial mismanagement, corruption allegations, and the works. It's like every time you turn over a rock and discover that Tiffany is pocketing government money meant to ensure these people have a decent place to live. We're talking about people who already don't have much living in conditions that would make your skin crawl. Tiffany allegedly continued to cash no section of payments without making any repairs. You may be wondering how she got away with it if she did this, and I can tell you that her property's inspection history is more dismal than a palm tree on the beach. It appears Tiffany thought she could ignore all the issues and keep making money, but things get messy. While Tiffany was busy being a slumlord, the people who were renting out her property were.